Hi gang, Scott Davenport here. This video will be like a Rosetta Stone for Luminar 4 to Luminar AI. Luminar AI is here and it's cool and a lot of tools have moved around. A few are gone and that's what I'm going to explain in this video. I'll have a written description of you know where each tool has moved or if it's disappeared over on my blog. I'll put a link in the show notes and if you're thinking about adding Luminar AI to your toolkit, check the show notes as well. There'll be an offer code down there. It can save you a little money. So let's get Luminar 4 and Luminar AI up here side by side and we're going to walk through each of the panels from the Luminar 4 tools and I'll show you where they are in Luminar AI. To set the stage, I've got the edit module open in Luminar 4 on the left hand side and the edit module open in Luminar AI on the right hand side. And we'll walk through all the different tools that we had in Luminar 4. I'll show you where they've landed in Luminar AI. Right at the very top, we had our histogram. Well, where did that go in Luminar AI? It's still there. Just right click on the photo you're working on at the bottom, show histogram, and it appears this little overlay. And we can click on the overlay to cycle through all the different views. You can see the individual color channels, the luminance, or everything together. Next is the Layers tool group, the first tool group we had in Luminar 4. This is where the first big change happens. Layers are gone. There is no layering in Luminar AI. It's dealt with using local masks. And I have a different video that shows you local masking. The one bit that we had in layers where we had the layer transform, that's really moved into composition AI in the uh, Luminar AI Essentials tool group. And we'll take a look at composition AI a little deeper uh, and as we get to the crop tool. Let's move on to the canvas group. So the canvas group in Luminar 4, this is another one that's been really split up and divided because there's no concept of a canvas really anymore once you get rid of layers. Your photo is the canvas, so there's not multiple photos of, of different sizes per se when you get rid of layers. First is the Erase tool in Luminar 4. That has moved to the Erase tool in the Essentials group. Pretty straightforward. Clone and Stamp from Luminar 4 is moved into the Pro group. In the professional area, we have the Clone and Stamp tool. So that's a change. Clone and Stamp is moved from Canvas into Professional. Another one that's moved into Professional is Lens and Geometry. If I open this one up here, we have our Lens options, and then we had some Geometry changes. This one really got split up quite a bit. The Lens portions is in the professional group under optics. And advanced settings has our defringe and de vignette. So like the first half of lens and geometry, the lens part, that's moved into optics in professional. The second part, vertical, horizontal, etc. This has moved into, again, composition AI. The, the notion of a canvas is gone. So when you're talking about stretching or squeezing or changing aspect ratio, we'll see those controls in composition AI. With the exception of the offsets, we're no longer shifting things around because, once again, we have no canvas. We have no layers. Your photo is the canvas. Right, and then we have crop and rotate. And crop and rotate from Luminar 4 has moved into composition AI in the Essentials group. So in Crop and Rotate, we had our horizontal, vertical flip, rotate, aspect ratio, obviously cropping. All of that is built into Luminar AI's Composition AI tool. All right, let's move on to the Essentials group. So the Essentials group in Luminar 4, we had all of these tools here, and it's really the same set that we have in Luminar AI, starting at light and going on all the way down. There's a few things that have been renamed. You know, anything that started with AI in Luminar 4 now ends with AI in Luminar AI. So AI Enhance became Enhance AI, and so on down the line. And a few other things. BW Conversion is now black and white. Details Enhancer is Details. Landscape Enhancer is Landscape. So this tool group from Luminar 4 will feel very familiar in Luminar AI. Moving on to the Creative group. Most of the tools are, again, the same in Luminar AI. There's a few that have been renamed and a couple that have just been folded into and you know, made part of other tools. So running it down from the top, we have AI Sky Replacement. That's Sky AI. AI Augmented Sky, Augmented Sky AI. So you have that AI at the end of things. Uh, moving on to Sunrays and Dramatic, we have those in the creative group in Luminar AI as well. 
Matt look has changed to just matte. Mystical is mystical. Color Style's LUT in Luminar 4 has been changed to Mood in Luminar AI. Same controls, same tools, just a different name. Texture Overlay. Now this is one that disappeared from the creative group and it is found in Luminar AI in the local masking area. So in the local masking area, we have the option to add in a texture. And so when we add in a texture, that is where we see some of the controls we had for texture overlay. I have a separate video that goes through texture blending in Luminar AI, so you can check that out. But if you're looking for textures, go into the local masking area. Continuing, glow is still glow, film grain is still film grain. Fog, Luminar 4's fog tool, what happened to that? That got folded into Atmosphere AI. This is a new tool in Luminar AI, and one of the modes is fog, and there are a few others as well, but this is where you'll find your light fog, your mist, and so forth in Atmosphere AI. Moving on to the portrait tool group, from Luminar 4 we had AI Skin Enhancer. That has become Skin AI, so a little different ordering, but the same controls are present. And then Face AI is the equivalent of Portrait Enhancer from Luminar 4. So that same thing of the AI moving to the end of the name, and in this case they've reordered, you have face first, skin second. High key is still high key. The Orton effect, in Luminar 4 we had an Orton effect in Portrait. That has moved into the Creative Group. In the Glow tool we have the Orton effects inside of Glow. So if you're looking for Orton, go to your creative group and that has been folded into the Glow tool. And lastly, in Luminar AI, there is a new tool, Body AI, and that's for you know adjusting the abdomen and the shoulder and hip shape. So kind of like the upper body portion of a subject. And wrapping up with the professional group, there are a couple of name changes, there are tools that moved, and there are some that are gone. So let's go through it here. Advanced Contrast in Luminar 4, that is now Super Contrast in Luminar AI. The Adjustable Gradient, so the Adjustable Gradient from Luminar 4, that tool is no longer part of Professional. It's been moved into Local Masking, so in Luminar AI, Local masking, we saw this before talking about textures. We also have a basic option. And so if I open up the basics, I've got those same kinds of controls for localized adjustments. And one of the masking modes is a gradient mask. So this is where you would go in to do your adjustable gradient work in the local masking area of Luminar AI. Dodge and Burn is still Dodge and Burn. The Color Enhancer has been renamed Color Harmony in Luminar AI. Photo filter. The photo filter tool from Luminar 4 is gone. That is no longer in Luminar AI. Luminar AI has a bunch of other color grading tools. You have mood where you have your LUTs, you've got color harmony, and you also have toning. And toning is a nice segue for this last tool we had in the professional group. We had split toning in Luminar 4. That has moved into the creative group in Luminar AI under toning. So this is where you'll find your various split tone controls in Luminar AI. All right, so that's the rundown. A bunch of different renaming of tools, a few things shuffled around, a couple of tools from Luminar 4 are now gone in Luminar AI. I've got that all written up for you in a blog post. Link is below so you don't have to scrub through video trying to find out where did that tool move again. And I hope you found it useful. I hope this will help you get uh, comfortable and familiar with Luminar AI as you're moving uh, from Luminar 4. Other questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.